All right, we are gonna play with some eyes today. I've already prepped my eyes. Um, you can use any eye base that you have that you want, anything like that. Um, we're gonna go in and I'm not real sure what kind of look we're gonna do. We're just gonna play and see. Um, so let's go in with a angled shadow brush. Any kind of angled shadow brush will be just fine. We're gonna go into black, just any black that you have, any matte black. And put this right on the corner right here. And come over here and match it up. Okay. You can see they look pretty even, that's good. something different you know something fun something different just taking a uh, blending brush any kind will do and I'm just gonna buff this out and I'm just making swirling motions like this to buff it we want to diffuse the color comments down below about what kind of eye look you want me to do next for y'all. Um, I've had a couple of requests already that have been sent um, to me via direct message, so I will be happy to do those. Um, one, surprisingly, is a very neutral eye. I think that's going to be the hardest for me because I don't really do neutral eyes. But I know a lot of people love them. And so I will do them for you. I do not mind. Okay. Making sure that's blown out like I like it. And again, all we're doing, we're not picking up additional products or anything like that. We are just going around. My mirror's right here. That's why I'm looking right here. Sorry. See how that's looking? Okay, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. All right, now we are going to go in with just a stash out of brush and um, the black. Um, And we are going to go in with this color right here. It's got a little bit of um, shimmer in it. But you know, I need a good shimmer. So, um, don't think I need to spray it down. Let's see. Look off any excess. good. I don't, yeah. I was thinking we might need to wet it down to pick up that color, but I don't think so. I think it's picking up really well on its own. Just like that. Yeah, it's not really good. Got a little bit of fallout. Not a big deal. This is why we do our eyes before we do anything else. Side. And start packing that color on. What you want is to pack this color on, give it a punch, let it stand out. There we go. Not worrying about any 
the fallout because we can clean that up. Really pretty. I like it. I like it. more of that color on right there. Go back in with our angle brush. Pick up a little bit more black. Come in here and just darken this and marry these two together. Right there on that corner. That's what we want to do. I'm just pushing it into that corner, you can see. Marrying these two together, just like that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love it. Now I'm gonna go in with this right here. Okay, just pick a little bit of that up. different texture, just a different blue. It's more of a satin finish. Um, I believe all these are color pop colors, I could be wrong. Um, but if you want the exact names or anything, just let me know and I'll get them to you. Um, otherwise, just any two blues that you have will be perfect. it in on a cotton ball. Any of your toners will do. Um, if you don't have a toner, you can use your setting spray, things like that. Anything like that. Okay. Just fix it up. Lining that lash line just like that. Nothing real complicated. Then we're going to go in with our black eyeliner. Some color pop. Just line the tight line with the water line. If you need to um, hold your eyelid up to do this, you can. Close your eye like this, that's fine. Um, it's fine if it's on the bottom, we're gonna put it on the bottom anyway. So we're just gonna tight line that really good. Okay. It's okay if it's a little messy because we're gonna blow it out with the blue. And Back in with the black, just picking it up on an angle. Uh, I, um, sorry, in my spring, um, angled eyeshadow brush. Just like that. 
then I always do it down here in this water line as well. Just the extra added. So if you're out of water or anything like that, you need to, um, it's easy to just do that. Then going in with that first color of blue on the other side of the brush, we're just going to pick it up. Mm -hmm. and marry them together and blow it out. Make sure to connect the black one right there. So you can go over here. Put it underneath the large one. So real simple, real easy. You're just running it underneath the last one, feathering it out. I didn't go all the way to the inner corner. You can if you want to. Um, I didn't, it doesn't matter either way. Um, we're gonna go check, make sure everything's blended together. Everything's cleaned up and smooth. There you go with that. All you need is two to three cups of mascara and you are done. Um, again, leave me comments down below about what looks you want to see, um, what you think of this look if you try it. Send me photos, I want to see it. Um, but yeah, quick, easy, simple, um, two phone dye. Pretty good, I like it. I like how it turned out. So I will see y'all soon, bye.